This is an overview of the ITG Center Project Performance Metrics. I'm Margaret Miller. In this video, we'll take a closer look at what is being displayed in the Project Performance Metrics Portlet, and we'll begin defining the 13 project metrics. The Project Performance Metrics Portlet uses data from your project to summarize the current state of the project and to forecast the end of the project, that is, whether the project will be completed on time and within budget. As you look at the portlet, you will see that by default, the data is sorted by activity. That is, unless you change the sort value in the portlet preferences. As you may recall, all tasks in a project's work plan have an activity assigned to them. The portlet is set up to summarize a project's performance based on the activities that were assigned to tasks in the work plan. Along the top of the portlet, the 13 project metrics are listed. These metrics include earn burn ratio, earned, actuals, plan to date, budget variance, budget, estimated time to complete, estimate at completion, percent complete, planned percent complete, variance at completion, actuals minus plan to date, earned minus plan to date. Of the 13 metrics, there are four core metrics that are pulled directly from the data in your project and from approved timesheets. These four core metrics are actuals, plan to date, budget, estimated time to complete, ETC. The remaining nine metrics are calculated from these four core values. Let's take a closer look at these four core metrics. Budget. Budget is the total number of days estimated for an activity. This information is taken from estimates that were entered by the project manager into the work plan. Actuals, also known as burn. Actuals is the actual number of days spent on an activity. This information is taken from what is reported on approved timesheets. Plan to date. Plan to date is the number of days planned to have been spent on an activity at this point in the project. This information is taken from the work plan and it takes into account when tasks were scheduled to start and to finish. Estimated time to complete, ETC. The estimated time to complete is the estimate of remaining days needed to complete an activity. This information is provided on timesheets and it relies upon managers and project participants to update the estimated remaining effort for each task if the original estimate for the task is found to be inaccurate, either more time is needed or less. Now some additional explanation is needed here because in the timesheets, project participants are asked to update the estimated remaining effort for each task. However, the metric reported on in the metrics portlet, which we are describing here, is the estimated time to complete. What is the difference between the two? The timesheet captures the estimated remaining effort as it is updated by project participants and reviewed by their managers. Once the timesheet is approved, the estimated remaining effort is used to update the estimated time to complete data that is reported in the metrics portlet. One value, the estimated remaining effort, represents the current value reported in hours on timesheets. The other value, estimated time to complete, 
represents a point in time value and it relates to the metrics as of time period that is selected in the portlet preferences. The estimated time to complete is what is reported in the metrics portlet and it is displayed in days rather than hours. The four core metrics that we've just been defining are displayed in the project performance metrics portlet. You can see what was budgeted, what was actually used or burned, what should have been used by this point in the project, and what the estimated time to complete is for each activity. These values are all drawn directly from either project work plans or from data submitted in approved timesheets. Now that we have a basic understanding of the four core metrics, let's take a look at these metrics for the Dream Institute tracking app project that Jane Redding is managing. The Dream Institute tracking app project is just getting started. Most of the values in the portlet are currently at zero. However, we can see what's been budgeted for each activity. If we look at the planning activity, we can see that 15 days were budgeted for this activity. Currently, 10 days have been spent, and 10 days is what was planned to have been spent by this point in the project. Finally, the estimated time to complete is showing five days. So everything seems to be right on track for the project so far. The four core metrics give us some valuable information about the project, however they do not tell the full story. In the next video, we'll look at some additional metrics that provide information about the current state of a project, and we'll check in again with the Dream Institute Tracking App Project to see how things are going.